Okay, so this is the first week of videos back from Christmas break. Cycle three of 2020, even though it's the first month of 2021. This is the fourth month. That was the last month. Graduation is at the end of this month. These are the videos for Monday and Thursday. So week 1A and 1B. We're working this month on power. This week we're talking about power through rotation. And we're, if you're in the kids class, you're getting your star for nutrition. So if you have kids who are in the red belt class, I talked to them about a challenge I had for them. So you might be hearing about that. We're going to start off with running in place. And then you're gonna throw punches. Just wanna make sure this is actually taping. Nothing more aggravating than spending half an hour standing here in front of the camera and then finding out that it didn't tape anything. Keep your hands up, keep your feet moving. Look at my back foot. We're gonna be talking about rotation. Every time I throw a punch with my back hand, my back foot's rotating. My front hip is rotating when I throw techniques with the front hand. But that's not my power side. My power side is my right, which is the back, and you can really see the rotation there. Um, and then we shuffle, front and back. and knees. Make sure your standing knee stays bent and you're not just bringing your knee up but you're rotating your hip forward. We'll talk about that later in the videos this week. Other side. And skaters. kicks front side back <clears throat> when you do the side kick particularly think about rotating the standing foot Okay, so you should check your pulse now. If it's not at least 120, do that two more times. If it is 120, do it one more time. Okay, I already went and rode my bike. My, t my pulse is way up over 120 plus. You don't need to sit here for six more minutes watching me running in place. But I want you to do two more sets of that. Run in place, punches, shuffle, knees, skaters, kicks. Then come back and we stretch. Reach up. Reach straight out to the front and reach for the floor. Lift your chin, grab your ankle, pull your chest to your knee. Not your head to your knee, chin is up. It's chest to your knee. Down in the side stretch, both heels on the floor here. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Come to the center, toes straight forward, push your knees out. Other side, chin up, chest to your knee.
down into side stretch. And turn, stretch your flexor. Okay, so now you're gonna come here and we're gonna do a stretch. This is called pigeon. It's a yoga pose. Ideally, it's not a good way to show you this, but ideally you want this knee to be at a 90 degree angle, but you also want your hips on the floor. I can't get my knee at a 90 degree angle and get my hips on the floor. So my knee is closer to four, it's around 45. My hips are square to the floor and I'm pushing my chest down toward the floor. And start here and then I come up, hips are square to the floor and I'm lifting my chin and then other side okay 90 degrees if you can for your knee mine's only about 45 my hips are square to the floor and I'm pushing my chest down to the floor and then lift and lift my chin And I'm going to come to child's pose, which is, it looks like you're just hanging out here, but I'm pushing my butt back as far as it'll go. I'm reaching my hands as far forward as it'll go, and I'm pushing my chest toward the floor. Then I'm going to dig my toes in and push back to down dog. When I'm here, my heels are on the floor. My ears are between my elbows and I'm pushing my chest back towards my knees. Then I'm gonna push back to a wide resting squat. And then for my squat, I'm gonna turn and touch one knee to the floor and come back to my squat. Other knee to the floor, back to my squat. Here, my heels are on the floor. When I turn, the foot that I've turned, that heel comes up. Both heels are back on the floor. The foot that's turned, my heel is up. Put your hands down, straighten out your legs, bring your feet closer together. And up. Okay, so we're gonna do three exercises. One arm, one legs, one arms, one core. We're gonna do them each, one set. I would like you to do two more sets on your own when we're done. The first one is squat and lunge. Now I'm gonna to have to step this way, I'm gonna run out of space sideways. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Okay, when you do your squat, your toes should be straight forward and your shoulders should be over your hips. You shouldn't be out here, so it's here. And when you do your lunge, your knee should be over your ankle, not out there. So squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Okay, then I want you to get down for push-ups as if you have a partner. If you have a partner, this is even better. But you're going to do a push-up facing your partner, and you're going to come up, and you're going to tap hands. Push-up, tap hands. If you don't have a partner, push up here, tap the floor. Push-up, tap the floor. Or push-up and tap a piece of furniture, but tap something. I don't want you just doing push-ups. I want you to have to balance yourself on one arm which disturbs your equilibrium, which makes your muscles work harder. And then the last one I want you to do is a sit-up. Okay, when you do your sit-up, you never go completely flat. My shoulder blades touch. My head never touches the floor. You also never come all the way up. That's a resting place. It doesn't require any work to be there. So you're gonna go tag the shoulder blades, Halfway up, punch, punch. 
Ten shoulder blades, halfway up, punch, punch. You do two more sets of each of those. So 10 times, 10 squat lunge, 10 push up, touch, 10 sit ups, and then one more time. And then when you come back, we're going to talk about um, generating power through rotation. Okay, so if you were in class, we would put um, focus pads on the floor. I don't have focus pads, so I'm going to use pot holders. Okay, so I'm going to put my pot holders on the floor. One, two, three, four, five. I have more of them, but I don't think you can see them all anyway. So putting more than that's not gonna do us any good. So what you're gonna do to start, I'm gonna start here. I'm going, my feet are facing that way. I'm just gonna step over one, and now my feet are facing that way. Look at what happens to your hips. Step over, hips are rotated. 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 You can't see my, you can't see my pot holders, can you? See, those are all my little pot holders. The kind that when you were a kid, you made them on a loom. I still have a loom. I made a couple more recently because they were getting old and yucky. Then the next thing that you can do is you get through a roundhouse kick. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to rotate this foot. So I throw the roundhouse kick. Then I'm going to rotate the foot I'm standing on. It's facing that way now. It's going to face all the way to there, and my whole body is going to be facing the other side when I finish the kick. Don't kick the camera. Okay, then I would like you to do that again, but have somebody hold a target for you. Um, if, if you have a focus pad, that's good. If you don't, use another pot holder or a piece of paper or something. Then we're going to do the same thing with the side kick. I'm going to start here. I'm going to rotate my foot and my hip and throw the side kick. And again, and again. And I think I'm gonna kick the camera on that one. Okay, so I want you to do that. Again, put a target there. Okay, so now I don't need so many, quite so many targets for the next, for the next one. I guess I will need those again in a minute, but not yet. We're gonna do jab cross. So we did jab cross in the warm up, and we talked a little bit about this when we were doing the warm up. Um, but I want to talk a little bit more about it. My power here comes. My shoulders are rotating, my elbows, my wrists, but the bulk of the rotation comes from my hips. And my foot starts it. It goes through my knee, through my hip, to my shoulder, to my elbow, to my wrist. So the whole side rotates, but the biggest muscles are the ones in your hips. So if you watch me do this. I'm going to rotate the front hip in and then the back one. So rotate, 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 rotate. And then you're going to put your, you're going to put your potholders back down again. I guess I should have picked them up. That's okay. Extra steps is not a bad thing. Potholders. I think I got them a little closer this time too, so I don't crash into the camera. So I'm going to do here, I'm going to start in my guard stance. I'm going to rotate into my jab, rotate into my cross, and then rotate this foot more and throw a roundhouse kick so that I'm here. Rotate into my jab, <coughs> into my cross, rotate more into the roundhouse kick. Jab, cross, roundhouse kick. Jab, cross, roundhouse kick. Jab, cross, roundhouse kick. Okay, so now I'd like you to put somebody there to be your target. And I want you to do it two ways. I don't ever want you to not rotate your foot on your round toes kick because that's a good way to hurt your knee. But I want you to do jab cross without any rotation. Then I want you to do your jab cross with rotation. And I want you to feel the difference or hear the difference on the pads or have your pad holder say, yes, I hear the difference. 
Okay, then once you've done that, we'll come back and we'll work on some curriculum. Okay, so you should have done your warm up, your stretching, your conditioning drills, and we talked about rotation. We did some rotation drills. So this month, this is the third cycle. Technically, it's the third cycle of 2020, even though it's January of 2021. It's the fourth month. Graduation is at the end of this month. This is the Monday video week 1A of the month. Your, sh your stripe this month is for power. This week we're talking about power through rotation. And this month you're getting your star for nutrition. I'm not gonna tell you what to eat. Everybody has a very different idea of that. And I'm sure that whatever I say is not gonna agree with what your parents say. However, I have a challenge for you. Over the next month, everything that you eat, read the box. If it has more than three or four ingredients, don't eat it. If it has a list of ingredients that sound like chemicals that you can't pronounce don't eat it you'll feel a lot better at the end of the month okay so what we're going to do we're going to do our we're going to run through the forms and we're going to talk about where the rotation the power comes from so where the rotation brings power in each of the moves of the forms so we're going to start with we're going to start with action karate form four i should probably angle that down a little bit or you can't see me at all Is that better? Okay, so we start here, action karate form four. You fall back in your guard stance. Chop, so when I chop, my shoulder's rotating, but my hip is rotating a little bit too. And then when I twist to throw the punch, obviously my hips are gonna twist and I'm gonna step out a little bit with this foot so that I'm in a front stance. Then I'm gonna rotate my hips again for the spear. I'm gonna bring my foot up and then turn my hips for the kick. Same thing here, turn my hips chop, turn them further punch, turn them back spear, bring my knees straight up, rotate my hip. I'm gonna rotate my hip into the low block and then further, more twist and punch for the punch. Step forward, I'm gonna step back so you can see what I'm doing. Chop, when I throw my side kick, this foot's gonna rotate, my hip's gonna start here, and it's gonna rotate here. So I come here and I rotate. And same thing on the other side, I'm gonna rotate my foot and my hip. Drop my weight. And I come closer for star block set. So you can see my hands rotate here. They rotate, rotate. This is the chamber. So they start here and they rotate out for the block back is a chamber so my hands are palms up and they're going to rotate to palms down for the strike okay so we're going to do it again at speed but i want you to be thinking about where your power is coming from on each move Okay, so then we're gonna do the same thing. I forgot to, okay. I forgot to start the timer. <coughs> the clock is going, so that should be okay. We're gonna do the same thing with Action Karate Form 8. So Action Karate Form 8, we start here. <clears throat> when I do the cup and saucer, I'm actually, it's actually a wrist release. So I'm using my hip and rotating my whole body away to pull the wrist release. Side kick, I'm gonna rotate this foot and my hip, I'm gonna land in a horse stance, a transitional stance, and rotate to a front stance, and then rotate my, my front hip and my front shoulder a little bit for that other punch, for that other hammer. Index in, I'm gonna rotate my hip as I turn and punch, and then rotate my shoulder punch. Step forward. The rotation here comes down, and up and down again. Now when I do my side kick, my foot rotates, my hip rotates. Switch stance. When I do the ax kick, my hip is gonna rotate. And when I do the hammer, 
It's just like twist and punch. I twist and hammer. I'm going to twist my whole body on that chop and my whole body again here. I'm going to step back. So I'm in front stance facing that way. So when I turn there, I'm front stance here. So my hips turn, punch, step behind. My rotation here is down. Down, my wrists are rotating and my whole body rotates. Okay, then we'll do the whole thing again. Think about where your power is coming from. Okay, so that's both of your forms. Uh, we'll do the bow. We'll do the bow form too, but we're gonna do some self defenses first. Okay, first self defense we're gonna do is passing the horizon. Okay, somebody grabs your shoulder. They come up behind you. They put one hand on your shoulder. I mean, they grab your hand behind here and they put the other hand on your shoulder. Okay, the first thing you do is you look and you drop your weight. Then I'm gonna grab here. Rotation's coming from two places. I'm turning the wrist, and I'm taking my whole body, and I'm stepping here. Okay, so now, twist and punch. Turn this foot, rotation, kick, cover out. Okay, so from this angle, they grab, they put their hand here, look, elbow, turn, rotate, rotate, rotate cover out okay so then the next one that we're gonna do is sword cut this is from the green belt curriculum somebody's trying to hit you in the head you know the answer you do not block you get out of the way blocking is secondary so I'm gonna get out of my way I'll go in on the block here rotation I'm gonna turn and get turkey head so the rotation is actually gonna be turning my whole body and taking them and using their rotation against them too. Kick, take the stick, cover out. And from the other direction here, get out of the way. Okay, and then you guys have star block set. So we talked about where the rotation comes from in star block set when we did action karate form four. You would be doing this with your kubaton, and I left mine in the house, and I'm not gonna go in and get it now. So just pretend I have a kubaton. Actually, I have a pencil. Let me go get my pencil right here. Okay, so here's my kubaton. So we're gonna do a couple of self defenses with the kubaton in your hand, based on star block set. And I want you to think about where the rotation is. The first one we're gonna do: somebody grabs my wrist. So I'm going to bring this hand up. I'm gonna step back, and as I settle my weight. I'm going to rotate. See what my hips are doing? I rotate as I strike their hand with the coupon or their wrist, and then I twist again, punch, kick. When I do the front kick, my hips are rotating here. Cover out. So again, they grab your wrist. Are they going to grab this one? Step back. Here's my rotation. Here's my rotation. Here's my rotation. Cover out. And the other one that we're going to do is they're going to throw a hook punch. So I'm going to do an in block. I'm not using the coupon for this, but my rotation is here with my shoulder. Then I'm going to rotate my shoulder again. This time I'm going to use the coupon and hit them in the side of the neck. Rotate, punch, front kick, cover out. So same thing. Rotate, 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 kick, cover out. Okay, so that's your forms and your self defense. Okay, so now we're back for weapons. We're going to review the stick sets. Beginners are doing single stick this cycle. Intermediate is doing double stick set. So single stick starts here. In your right hand, hand is here. 
other hand, there's enough room for your left hand to be at the bottom, right hand on top of the blood cup. Courtesy, step back. Okay, I'm gonna step forward. Rotation's gonna come here from two places. As I step forward, my hip is rotating. Actually, three places. My shoulder's rotating, my wrist is rotating. My wrist rotates again, my wrist rotates again. My shoulder rotates all the way around, and as I strike, my wrist rotates. I keep spinning. My whole body's going. I cover my head. I step down. My hip rotates. My shoulder rotates. My wrist rotates. <clears throat> Put it in the other hand. Pump front kick. Turn and step. Okay, so when I say my wrist rotates, can you see what my hand is doing here? So my wrist. There's rotation coming from my wrist, too. So do that again. Blood cup, courtesy, step back, cover your head. Step forward, hip rotates, shoulder rotates, wrist rotates. Wrist rotates, wrist rotates, my shoulder rotates, and my wrist on the strike. Step away, cover your head, hip rotates, shoulder, wrist switch hands pump front kick okay that's from the beginner curriculum from the intermediate curriculum you need two six i will do with it i'm going to do top and bottom um just going to run through them once talk to you about where the rotation comes from i'm going to do the mirror so that if you're facing me i'm on my left you'll be starting on that side which if you're facing me is going to be on your right okay so this is largely shoulder and wrist rotation shoulder and wrist shoulder mostly shoulder shoulder and wrist shoulder shoulder okay so think about getting your wrists now involved in every one of these after the second set they come to here shoulder and wrist shoulder and wrist shoulder and wrist and back shoulder and wrist shoulder and wrist shoulder and wrist and back okay so if you have something in your house that you can hit if you have a heavy bag that's great um, if you don't um, I don't know what to, to tell you to hit but if there's something that you can hit um, hit straight without any rotation in your wrist and then rotate your wrist and hit again you're gonna hear you can really hear there's a huge difference so play with that if you can okay Okay, so now bow. This one is my favorite. We're just gonna run through the bow form and we're gonna talk about where the power comes from. Okay, here, comes back. I step, I rotate into Chungle Chassis and the bow is coming, it's not coming straight down, it's coming across. So my hips are rotating and my shoulders and my wrists are forcing the bow to rotate. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, rotate my hips, shoulders and wrists gonna make the bow rotate. And one more time. Now I'm gonna pull back. My shoulders are what's making the rotation here. Step forward, hips rotate. The bow is rotating over this fulcrum. Same thing here. Obviously where the rotation comes from here, and spear. And I got a little bit of settle and forward lean on that spear. Same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna come forward, rotate, settle and strike. I come up. So here the power is coming more from backup mass than it is from rotation. That's gonna be next week's thought, but that's okay. Power's power. Rotation here comes from this big circle, my shoulder and my hips at the end. Again, rotation comes from the big circle, from my whole body moving, and from my shoulders rotating into the strike. And again here, hips and shoulders, back up mass. Rotate, drop. This is just like at the beginning where your power comes from rotation around the fulcrum. Turn, power here is back up mass. Comes up, bow rotates, back up mass, and rotation. Same thing here, back up mass, rotation. I'm gonna turn my shoulders, turn my hips, my shoulder, my wrist, 
Same thing, hips, shoulder, wrist.